Welcome back to Saint of the Day. Today is August 12th, and today's saint is Saint M. M. Plus Mara. On August 12th, 304, during the persecution of Doclontan Do at Catina, Sicily, a deacon named E. Ephilnas was brought to the governor's hall and structurally professed his faith. With the book of gospels in his hand, he was called before the governor Calvest and commanded to read from it. The saint read the patches, blessed are those who suffer persecution for justice sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Impulus then read the patches, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Quoted by the governor as to what this meant, the young replied, it is the law of the Lord, which has been delivered to us. Calavis asked, By whom? Impulus replied, By Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. With that, the governor ordered that he be led away to be tortured. At the height of his torture, Emperor Ephil, his name is really hard for me. E. Eolus was asked if he still preserved in his Christianity. His answer, what I said before, I say again. I am a Christian and I read the s sacred scriptures. He added that he would never give up the scriptures and profess, preferred death to life on earth. For he would thereby obtain internal life. The governor realized that Eflint was firm in his resolve to abide the pagan gods. He, so he ordered him to be put to death. With the book of gospels hung Around his neck, St. Ephraim's use was led to the place of execution and beheaded, praising God all the while. And there's a little note here. It says, the general lecture calendar of the United States of America now places St. Francis de Sistis on this day. Um, whole biology biography is on page 369 um so let's go to 369 saint joan francis de cincy religious um born at ja Jai Jun in 1572 into a poor, poor minted family. Saint Joan Francis received an exclusive education. In 1592, she married the Baron de Chinta, an officer in the army of Her Henry the Fourth. After eight happy years, she was left at a widow with four little children when the Baron was killed in a hunting accident. In 1604, she had St. Francis de, S de Sells preach and placed herself under his spiritual direction. After 
providing for the welfare of her children, St. Joan Francis went to Ainsies and established the Congregation of the Visitation in 1610. For many years, she suffered great internal, internal trials with the utmost resignation. While she labored to extend her congregation and promote God's glory, 86 houses was established before her death, which took place in 1641. She was canonized in 1767 by Pope Clement XIII. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God of power and mercy, through your help, St. Influence has overcome the tortures of his passion. Help us who celebrate this trumpet to remain visual over the well, wells of our enemies. God, you in endured St. Joan Francis with um, admiration qualities in virtues walked of life. Through her intercession, Help us to be true to our vocations that never fail to bear witness to the life you give us. Lord, you gave us these two saints to help us know how to overcome our religious barriers. Please help us now and always. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.